Hello everyone, welcome back to Complete Laravel Ecommerce Project Tutorial Series. In our last video, we show you how you can add item to the cart. Uh, okay, and today we're going to do a lots of thing and finish this cart thing. Okay, um, today we will display here the cart item dynamically from our session. Then we will show you how you can increase item quantity, decrease item quantity based on that. How you can update the total and also the uh, main item price and also how you can like simply remove one item from here everything using live where how you can do this thing we will show you in this video but before starting some of you asked me like if you use laravel 12 and at the same time follow this tutorial series will it going to uh, make any kinds of problem for your project absolutely no because this project is fully compatible with laravel 12 again laravel 12 there's not many inside changes come just a few things comes you know that like uh, lots of new starter kit included in laravel 12 okay we'll discuss about laravel 12 other thing later but answer is like if you want to build this full project using laravel 12 following this tutorial it's absolutely fine you can do that okay okay fine let's uh, do our job so this is our global card manager which basically help us to add it to the card uh, using the button but today we will work on card component this is our card component uh, live wire component which we created many video ago right now in this card component we're going to create few uh, function okay first one going to be for get card properties okay which will help us to get like uh, whatever the item already available in the card for the user then we will create increase quantity uh, function uh, to like help user to increase quantity when they click on this okay right now it's just simple javascript but we will change it and make it actually working uh, using liveware then decrease quantity as well uh, another function then we will create another function for removing item okay and then also another function for displaying here the total okay so lots of work let's create those function first in our live component then we will uh, move into the uh, view file this is the view file and here we're going to display the card item dynamically okay very simple okay let's do it leave the render okay and then from here type public function then get card properties or get card items okay get property okay. fine <laughs> okay fine then uh, here we can just simply type like return we know that uh, our card item actually uh, go inside session if you see that okay everything go inside session we updated the session card now whenever any card item added to the card okay so basically to get whatever item available in the card we're just going to return session then uh, there we're going to do the get okay to get the item from the session and here we need to pass our key uh, using which the item is uh, right now stored in the session and by default we're going to pass a empty array okay perfect now if you go to our global card manager you will see that in our session using the card key we are actually uh, including our card item to the session right so perfect so this is just uh, fine to like uh, get all the card item from the card next function we're going to create first of all we will create all the function then we will move into the uh, like uh, displaying or like work with the ui okay next function going to be uh, increase quantity okay that means our card item increase quantity function okay public function increase quantity nice so here first of all we will create the product id otherwise which product quantity going to increase right that should be a question so after that here simple we're going to type card and this is going to be uh, basically get our this card this then card then 
then simply we're going to type here if is set what is set first of all you need to check right and that uh, although that product is available in our card or not although you know that whatever the item is displaying here it's already available in the card right but double check uh, for doing the double check we're going to do if is set card product id okay so first of all we are checking that if the card product id is already available or not in the card so whatever the items quantity we want to increase very fast we want to check either that is available in our card or not although visually we can see that that item is already available in the card but in programming we are double checking that okay next if that available that means if it's set then we can move into the next item that means increase the quantity so just type here card then our product id then we're going to increase the quantity right quantity of that product id plus equal one it's very simple right then we're going to call the session and we're going to update the session right session then put uh, put is used to update right put our card and then value going to be the card simple and this code is absolutely similar to this code right which one and this code because same work nice next what next simply we need to uh, notify our user that it actually updating our card okay so for that we're going to type here this then dispatch uh, same thing whatever we did here like uh, notification we can just simply copy that from here as well okay this dispatch notify not added to card uh, we can like type like quantity increased or item increased item increased <laughs> okay and uh, our notification type is success and finally we have to also uh, fire our library event which is card updated okay okay so let's add here a listener and why i'm going to tell you that a little bit later but first let's add here a listener protected listener l-i-s-t-n-e-r-s protected listeners is equal to card updated card updated refresh That means like uh, we are telling here like hey card component look for uh, either in live where we are firing any event called card updated if so if we uh, firing any uh, like global event called card updated then call the refresh and what is this refresh does is this refresh actually uh, going to do is we going going to simply reload this card component okay that means whenever we increase the item okay uh, first of all we're going to notify user using our suite alert that item increase then we also going to um, fire our um, card updated library component and as we fire it it going to refresh the card component automatically and display us the updated value that's why and similar program we need to do for decrease quantity i can leave it for you but yeah let me show you that many actually get offended if i leave something and don't show the same same function okay same everything just we need to use here the minus value and little bit more like verification okay let's do it public function decrease quantity 
and here we're going to call the product id okay same card is equal to this card next next we're going to do here if is set what is set card and then the product id right so this is the very first validation which we already did in our in case quantity also but next validation we need to do here is we need to check the quantity of that product id before we can decrease the quantity right like we are decreasing quantity of an item which I literally like have no quantity then how we can decrease that right so we need to check that first so we're going to type here again if what card then not this one then card product id then quantity right so go on q u a n t i d a quantity is greater than one okay that means there's some quantity then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing what we did here but the minus that means we are decreasing the amount then we're also going to update the session similarly what we did there then we also going to do another thing that is called we're going to notify our user using our sweet alert item decrease okay then we can also um, going to simply type here yields like if we don't have any amount left like uh, uh, let me show you let me show you that here you can see one item left or one quantity left for this item if i just click on uh decreasing quantity then it's going to be zero right uh, so whenever it hit zero we want to remove that item from our cart as well because zero means uh, there's no existence of that item in the cart right so we need to also remove that item from the cart and that's what we're going to do here we're going to type here whenever the product quantity is not greater than one then we're going to do this remove item we don't have this function yet but we're going to create that product id that means whenever there's uh, quantity going to be uh, less than one then we're going to remove the item okay and uh, after all of this we're going to like simply also fire up our level library event which is card updated global event now let's create this remove item function as well public function remove item okay same as it fine now first we are receiving here the product id and we're going to remove the item Similarly, card is equal to this card. Okay. Then we're going to unset thing here, which is card. We need to pass here the product ID. Okay. Then we're going to update the session. Station port card card okay and then we also going to update the user giving them a simple notification of item removed and this time when we are decreasing the quantity of the item we want the notification type from success to info and when i'm removing the item we're going to give the notification 
from success to warning right perfect so we created here a get cart function which is going to help us to display the item in uh, item from session to our cart then increase quantity will help us to increase the quantity in the cart decrease quantity will help us to decrease the quantity in the cart then remove item help will will going to help us to remove item from the cart right all right so next all we have to do is we have to create another function to display here the total other than that all other uh, thing we have to do here like displaying item and then increase quantity decrease quantity everything is done removing item from the card every function we already created just one more let which is this one like to display here the total we need to create another function we will do that later in this we will do that in next video and also uh, remaining part of this video like uh, do this thing in our blade component and make this thing dynamic We'll do it in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.